Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium in Grand Falls Winter. This is Roger Barnett. We're all set to, in just a short time from now to bring you live coverage of the exhibition hockey game tonight between the Exploits Midget All-Stars and the team of uh, Russian International Midget All-Stars, a team that's been on tour throughout uh, Atlantic Canada for the past uh, several weeks, and their tour will take them uh, through the rest of Newfoundland for the next couple of weeks. When they finish up, they'll have played some 30-plus games in just over four or five weeks. In just a few moments' time, we'll be back at the Jordan Memorial Stadium to bring you play-by-play -play coverage of period number one of tonight's hockey game. We're just about set for the face-off to start this hockey game between the Exploits Midget All-Stars and the touring Russian team. And the puck is dropped or underway. The puck is cleared off the, off the boards, all right to the Russian blue line where the Russians pick up the puck. It bounces into the center ice area. They bring it in across the line. Getting set for a shot. It goes across the goal mouth to the corner and back to the point. At the point, they shoot it to the far corner. And it's picked up there by the Exploits All-Stars. That's Jerry Pumphrey shooting it to the blue line, but no further. Here come the Russians again. There's a shot across the goal mouth just wide of the goaltender, Brad Snow, who's starting to go for the Exploits team tonight. In back of the net, they try the wraparound. Play is called after the save there by Brad Snow, the goaltender on number 16, Andrei Shoisky, who tried the wraparound on the goaltender, but he was successful in keeping the puck out and keeping the score at 0-0 zero, zero. here after 40 seconds of the first period of this hockey game at the Joburg Memorial Stadium. Face off deep inside the exploit zone. Puck goes in back of the net. And it's Kevin Anthony with it shooting it off the board, but not out of his own zone. The Russians try to keep it in. They do. Here's a chance for the right in front of the goal. The puck going just wide of the mark. And Brad Snow just watched the puck go in back of the net. The Russians keeping it in from the point. The shot goes off a skate to the corner. Where it's picked up there by number 17. That's a Jenny Emelianov. He shoots it across the ice. The Russians managed to keep it in. And so far, the Exploits team having lots of trouble getting the puck out of their own zone. Back at the point, there's a shot that will stop just in front of the goal. And finally, the Exploits All-Stars clear the puck into the center ice area. But the Russians gain control once again and shoot it over on the far boards. Right back to the Exploits blue line. Play is called after the puck is blocked by one of the Russian players, number 12. So we get a stoppage in play after a minute 34 seconds of the first period. We're still in scoreless and so far. Russians have dominated the Exploits Midget All-Stars in this exhibition hockey game. The Russian team having played 15 games so far on this tour of the Atlantic provinces, winning 12, losing three games. Now they have another 15 games or so to go. I believe it's 32 altogether we're going to play on this tour. They're of course traveling after tonight's game to uh, 12 tomorrow, and then they'll be uh, heading uh, toward the east coast of the province, making their way on their way back. They'll be stopping Lewisburg and Bishop's Falls for games. The game in Bishop's Falls, I believe, is on the 20th of this month. Faceoff will be just outside the Exploits blue line after the puck went into the crowd. On the faceoff, again, the Russians gain control. But they lose it at the blue line. It's picked up there by Brad Weiss. Weiss shooting the puck back into the Russian zone, and the goaltender makes an easy save. Exploits All-Stars managing to keep the puck in, at least momentarily, but back come the Russians. Here they come, to the blue line. Bringing the puck in across the line, there's a backhander glove save by Brad Snow, and he holds on for the faceoff. After two minutes, 12 seconds on this first period, it is still scoreless between the Russian Midget All-Stars and the Exploits All-Stars here at Joburg Memorial Stadium. The teams with that stoppage in play take the opportunity to get some fresh troops out onto the ice. Referee for tonight's game is Boyce Osmond. Face-off will be to the left of goaltender Brad Snow. Puck is dropped and the Russians manage to keep it in at least momentarily. Puck is poked away there by Jason Venter. Venter had it at center ice and was trying to break free but had the puck knocked off his stick. 
Russian All-Stars with the puck right in front of the goal. There's a shot saved by Brad Snow, and he hangs on for the face-off. The shot there from number 14, Igor Cleave, who got a good clean shot at goaltender Brad Snow, and Snow was equal to the occasion and made the stop to keep the score at 0-0. The goose egg still on the board after two minutes and 31 seconds of this first period. Again, a face-off deep inside the exploits zone. And in the face-off circle, Tyson Power taking the draw for the exploits team. Russian All-Stars managing to come in the exploits All-Stars to much of the opening couple of minutes of this hockey game, but still with scores. Brad Snow making a cut of saves. There's a chance now for Jason Benzer. Benzer shooting it off the boards. The puck moving to the Russian zone. It's in back of the net. Battle for possession there. Benzer once again tries to feed it out in front. Does. There's a shot. They score! The exploits All-Stars go up one to nothing. After three minutes and four seconds of this first period, a nice backhander beating the goaltender to make it a one to nothing hockey game here at the Jewelbert Memorial Stadium in favor of the Exploits Midget All-Stars. And that's probably uh, only their second shot on goal and they capitalized by putting the puck past the goaltender to make it one to nothing. Off, it's the Russians gaining control and across the line. A shot going wide of the net back to the point. Kept in by the Russians. They shoot it in behind the goal. A battle for possession in back of the net. David Budgel getting credit for that goal to make it one to nothing in favor of the Exploits All-Stars. Russians keeping the puck inside the Exploits line. Here's a chance. Puck goes just wide into the corner. And in after very quickly, the Exploits All-Stars, number 18, Chad Weiss. Getting the puck into the center ice area. Looking for Mark Blackmore. Blackmore had it momentarily, but was bumped off the puck by one of the Russian defenders. Who shoots the puck up ahead. They get it in across the line, but no further. And back forward is Kevin Anthony, shooting it around the boards. Over for Mark Blackmore. Blackmore looking for Chad Rice in the center ice area. Couldn't reach it. And back down the Russian All-Stars. In across the line. Trying to get a shot on goal. Player fell down on the play. No penalty call. Puck goes to the boards. Now it's picked up by the Exports All-Stars at center ice. That was Stephen Cater with it momentarily. He couldn't hang on to it. Here come the Russian All-Stars catching the Exports All-Stars on a break. On a, on a player change. And Brad Snow had to make a glove save on that shot from just inside the blue line. Now we get a bit of pushing and shoving going on between one of the Russian players. And number seven, Jody Bishop, the assistant captain for the Exploits team. Nothing materializes out of that after almost uh, five minutes of this first period. It is one to nothing for the Exploits All-Stars and a goal from David Budger. That goes in back of the Exploits net. And starting up from his own zone is Chris Hebb. Hebb on the left wing gets it into the center ice area. Russian All-Stars taking the puck from their own zone now. Shooting it up to center. No further. It goes to the Exploits blue line. The Exploits defender on the play. Kevin Anthony almost losing the puck just inside his own zone. They bring the puck in across the line. Both players go down on that particular play. And the Russian All-Stars gain possession of the puck. Shooting it across the ice. Pass just failed to click. It goes to the corner. Chasing in after it is Kevin Anthony for the Exploits team. The shot in front of the goal and Grant Snow, the goaltender, steers it to the corner. Again, Jason or Kevin Anthony, I should say, trying to clear the puck out. The Russians have possession momentarily, then lose it, regain it. Some really scrambly play deep inside the Exploits zone and finally. Exploits team, the home team, shoots the puck all the way back into the Russian zone. And the Russian squad start to make some player changes. Get some fresh troops out there after almost six minutes of this first period here at the Joe Memorial Stadium. In back of the Russian goal. Puck goes to the point where the Russian defender tries to get away from Tyson Power, who's Chasing after him, the puck comes to the blue line. It's shot back in by the Exploits All-Stars and back up to center ice. 
Now here's Mark Blackwell bringing the puck in across the line. Outside goes the puck, so that means we get a stoppage in play. An all-star, six minutes and ten seconds of this first period, but they haven't had very many good quality shots. On goaltender Brad Snow, he's had to come up with a couple of saves. No real quality shots. At the other end of the ice, only the second shot of the Russian goaltender beats him. David Bunzel with a backhander to make it 1-0, and that's where we stand right now. Buck is in back of Brad Snow. The Russians gain possession. They try to set it up in the slot. Nice play by Igor Cleve. Cleve in the corner. He's tied up, and it's picked up there by Jason Benger. Benger losing possession. It's Cleve with it once again. He can't hang on to it. They try to keep it in, and successful in doing so. They shoot it to the board. Goes all stars. Benger takes a check in the corner. The Russian player goes down. Here's a chance. They try to set it up in the slot, but the pass went through the legs of Igor Klee back at the point now. The Russian all stars keeping it in Klee. Passes it over for Andrei Shoisky. Shoisky across the goal left area. The puck is cleared out to center ice by the Exploits all stars who make some wholesale player changes. And the Russians hit across the line. They go in and go. Shoot scores! Nice play by the Russian All Stars to tie the game up. At 1 1, Dmitry Arsenyev gets the goal, number nine. Dmitry Arsenyev getting the goal to make it a 1 1 tie. David Bunchel has scored for the Exploits All Stars. And that's where we stand as we approach the middle line point of period number one. Nice scoring play by Dmitry Arsenyev to make it a 1 1 tie here at the Joburg Memorial Stadium. On the face off, the Russians gain possession of the puck once again. They've been doing a great job of winning those face offs. There's a shot right on Brad Snow. Smothers the puck and hangs on for the face off. As we mentioned, this Russian All Star team. Having played 15 games so far, winning 12, losing 3. They have at least another 15 games to go on this particular tour. They'll take them to the east coast of the province of Newfoundland. On their way back, they'll be stopping in Lewisport, in Bishop's Falls, on the 20th of this month. They stop deep inside the exploit zone. And from the cloud, Pop goes to the corner, it's flipped off the glass into the crowd, and it worked away by Stephen Cater, number 9. So that means we get another face off. The are content to dump the puck back onto the ice. This time the Exploits All Stars win the draw, dump the puck to the corner, back to the point. The Russians keep it in by dumping the puck into the corner. They set it up in the slot. Here's a chance for the Russians. The shot scores! Beating Brad Snow to the left side, the top corner. And that makes it a 2-1 to one hockey game in favor of the Russian All-Star team. Nice scoring play that time by the Russians. They had two men in the slot. And make no mistake about it, the Russian player got possession of the puck in the slot and fired it high to... Mistake about it to make it a 2 1 hockey game so very quickly after the Exploits All Stars get a 1 0 lead. They find themselves behind by a score of 2 1 as we approach the midway point of this period number one. Back to the point. The Russians again trying to set it up in the slide. It's into the corner. And the Russians gain possession but then lose it. It's Brad Rice with it, shooting it off the boards all the way back into the Russian zone. And we're going to get a penalty here to. The Russian players, and in fact, we're going to get plenty of penalties to both sides. Jerry Pumphrey is going to go off for the Exploits All Stars, and Jimmy Belyanov is going to get the gate for the Russian team. That, of course, happened behind the plate right after the puck was cleared down into the Russian zone, so the faceoff comes back into the Exploit zone to the right of goaltender Brian Snow. The face-off circle, Chris Hamm for the Exploits All-Stars. Getting the puck outside the line to the blue line. The Russians gain control. Getting the puck in across the line. In 
back of the net. Moving into the slot, back to the point, at the point. Big shot to set it up in the slot one more time. Now the puck is in the corner. And again, the Russians still have possession. They shoot it across the goal mouth. There's a shot right through the crease area. And Brad Snow just got a piece of it to make sure that the puck steered wide of the mark. As the Russians came very close to making it a 3-1 hockey game. Back on the Russians to center ice. They bring the puck in across the line. Going in on goal for a shot. Brad Snow grabs the puck from the player who was moving in, Dennis Orlov. And held on for a faceoff, not willing to take any chances. And with what we've seen from the Russians, uh, when they get control of the puck, they manage to hang on to it by passing it around and trying to fool the opposition. Puck is dropped and the Russians win the draw. They back to the point. Puck goes over the stick and all the way back into the Russian zone. Russians losing it at their own blue line. The Exploits All-Stars with possession. Jason Benger after could not reach it. Here's a shot from the point, a high one. The bouncing puck goes wide of the mark. Benger from the quarter tries to set it up at the side of the goal. They try to set it up in front. The Exploits All-Stars back to the point. From the point, the shot. And that one was blocked right in front. They score! After the shot from the point by Brad Rice, it was blocked in front of the goaltender. And then the puck came loose, and somebody managed to put it past the goaltender to tie things up at 2-2 at the 9.47 mark of period number one. On the right face off the Russians again with a shot on goal. Nice glove save by Brad Snow. Almost handcuffed him, but he managed to get hold of the puck. David Budgel gets his second goal of the night. He's scored both of the goals for the Exploits All-Stars. They scored first, then the Russians came back with two goals. And Budgel again to make it a 2-2 tie here in the first period. We are one second away from the 10-minute mark in this first period here at the Joburg Memorial Stadium. From the faceoff, Exploits All-Stars. Number 18, Chad Rice, out to center ice. They bring the puck in across the line, but it's offside on the play. And so that means the faceoff will come back outside the blue line. On the face out, the puck goes through several skates and all the way to the goaltender Brad Snow from deep inside the Russian zone and Snow taking no chances with some of those orange jerseys surrounding him. He decides to hang on to the puck for a face off. It'll come to his uh, left. And it'll be Chad Rice in the face off circle for the Exploits All-Stars. He wins the draw. Gets it back to his defender. They shoot the puck on the boards, but not out. Kept in by the Russians. Once again, it's Brad Rice with it. Rice out to center ice for Chad Rice. Rice in across the line. Backhander, the shot saved by the goaltender. Puck goes in back of the net where the Russians come up with it. And bring it back to their own blue line. Into the center ice area. In across the line, there's a shot. Brad Snow got a piece of that with his blocker and the puck went in behind the net. Back to the point, there's a shot right on Brad Snow with the save, another save. As the Russians are all over Brad Snow. Back to the point, they try to set it up in the slot. Goes off the stick and into the corner. In after it is Perry Grimes for the Exploits All-Stars. Cleared it, but not out. This time, Stephen Cater will try to get the job done. Cater, off the glass, gets it out to center ice. And the Russians retrieve the puck all the way back into their own zone. The Exploits All-Stars making some changes. Getting some fresh troops out there. Jordan Bishop shot the puck into the slot, but there was no one there. None of his teammates as they were making some player changes. Puck goes off the back of the boards. Hits the mesh. It comes loose. And it's picked up by Chad Rice. He shoots it off the board into the center ice area. Play is called. And that will give him 
exploits team an opportunity to get some fresh trips out there and likewise for the Russian team a 2-2 tie with 8.25 to go in period number one. Stars to the left of goaltender Brad Snow. Puck is dropped in from the face off. It's along the boards. A battle for possession poked out to center ice where the Russians retrieve it. They bring the puck in across the line. Into the corner. It's shot around the board. Back to the point. The Russians have possession. They dump the puck into the corner. One of the Russian players. Checked into the boards rather heavily, and he goes to the team bench. The Russian shoot it right back into the exploit zone. Here's Michael Healy with it. Losing possession. The Russians have it. They get it into the slot. There's a shot that went off one of the exploits defenders, number 19, Mark Blackmore. From the point, a shot. That one was knocked down by Kevin Anthony. Another heavy check just inside the blue line. And this time, Michael Healy was the one who went down, lost his stick on the play. In back of the exploits go now. It's Kevin Anthony along the board. Trying to feed it ahead over for Michael Healy. Michael Healy trying to get the puck out of the zone. And finally, it's clear to center ice. Once again, the Russians with a long shot from just outside the blue line. And the save, an easy one by Brad Snow. The puck clears right into the exploits bench, so we get a stoppage in. Back to the point. The Russians trying to keep it in. The Russian defender losing his stick, but still trying to keep the puck inside the zone. He goes to the team bench where another player comes on the ice. The stick is still out there on the ice surface into the corner. The Russians bringing the puck in and Brad Snow, that loose puck right around the goal, grabs a hold of it and holds on for the faceoff. With 6.03 remaining in the first period. Still a 2-2 tie. David Budgel with both of the goals for the Exploits All-Stars. <laughs> Chad Rice in the face-off circle for the Exploits All-Stars. Again, the face-off deep in the Exploit zone. Puck goes to the corner. And it's Mark Blackmore with it. Blackmore cleared it to the point. Puck is kept in. This time it'll be Harry Bryan shooting the puck off the boards and to center ice. And it goes back into the Russian zone. Here come the Exploits All-Stars at the side of the goal. Puck is tipped away. They try to get it out in front. Several players have shot right across the goal now. And over on the far boards where the Russians gain possession and shoot it up to center. In across the line. There's a shot. Pad save by the goaltender. Brad Snow. The Russians tried to shoot it out in front into the slot area, and the puck was tipped away by one of the boys defenders to center ice. 5.15 to go, first period. A 2-2 tie here at Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium. The Russian All-Stars bringing the puck in across the line. Into the corner, they'll try to Get the shot on goal, the save by Snow, the goaltender. Puck is kept in, the Russians moving in from the point. Loose puck at the faceoff circle area. Nice club save by Brad Snow on that shot. Nice glove save to stop the Russian offensive that time and get a stoppage in play and Brad Snow gets a bit of a break and an opportunity to get a drink of water before the next face-off. Deep inside the exploit zone, it's Chris Hebb in the face-off circle. Puck drop, and Hebb getting it in back of the net for Brad Rice. Rice being watched closely, gets it out to center ice, looking for one of his teammates. And center ice hits the Russians with possession again. Puck comes loose. The Exploits All-Stars trying to get something organized. Shoot it back inside the Russian zone. Oh, and it's 
center ice now. The Russians with possession of the puck. They shoot it inside the exploit zone. The puck in the corner. A battle for possession between Kevin Anthony. Anthony trying to gain possession. Brad Snow grabs the loose puck at the side of the net and hangs on for the faceoff. With one of those... Russian players hanging around the crease area looking 54 left to go in period number one here at the Gilbert Memorial Stadium at 2 2 time. And the face out, the puck goes to the boards. Battle for possession, and finally it's poked out to center ice by Tyson Power, number 17 for the Exploits All Stars. Back in the Russian zone. Russians regroup and try to get something going. They bring the puck in across the line, trying to get a shot on goal. In back of the net. And the puck comes loose, where it's picked up by number 14, Brad Rice. He shoots the puck up ahead for Tyson Power. Power over for Benger too far. Benger will chase the puck in behind the goal. He can't reach it, though, and it comes up to the Russian player right at the blue line who pokes it out to center ice. Here come the Russians. In across the line. Puck is shot back out to the center ice area with just over three minutes to go in period number one. Long shot goes wide. Hits the back of the net. Puck is cleared around the boards. And out to center ice. Here come the Russians again. The shot blocked by the exploits defender that time, Jerry Pumphrey. In front of the goaltender, Brad Snow. Exploits, carrying the puck to center ice, it will go all the way back into the Russian zone. But the goaltender, Maxim Gustav, leaves it there for one of his teammates. The Russians trying to make some player changes as the play continues. They bring the puck in across the line. It's loose into the corner. Now back to the point, there's a shot. Off one of the influence defenders, the Russians again. Here's a chance, the shot. That was stopped by Snow, another shot, hit the post! And Brad Snow grabs the loose puck. After it hit the post, and Jenny Emelianov hitting the post. And it looks as though number eight, Dmitry Sorotkin, is the player who's going to get the penalty this time around. High sticking penalty on the play, and we have one of the exploits all-stars injured on that particular play. We certainly hope it's nothing serious. Team trainers are attending to him right now. He's been kept pretty busy in the first 19 minutes and 16 seconds of this uh, first period. He's had to come up with a number of saves. And on one occasion, the Russians hit the post. And we're at 2-2. That's the score, a 2-2 tie. As we are at the Joe Burton Memorial Stadium between the Russian Midget All-Star team and the Exploits Midget All-Stars. A 2-2 at the end of 20 minutes of play. Scoring for the Russian All-Star team in the first period, Dmitry and Alexander Kondraty scoring the goals for the Russian team. David Budgel has scored both of the goals the Exploits All-Stars who led 1-0 and fell behind 2-1 after the Russians stormed back with two goals. And then uh, the Exploits All-Stars managing to get the equalizer with Budgel's second goal of the night. And that's where we stand going into the second period of this hockey game. A 2-2 turn to start of the second period. He picked up a five-minute major for high sticking in the last minute of play in the first period. And so the Exploits All-Stars have an opportunity to get some goals on the board here early in the second period. And from the faceoff, it's Smirnov, Matt V. Smirnov, number 22, shooting the puck out to center ice. The Exploits All-Star shooting it back in, but it's offside. And so the faceoff will come all the way back into the Exploits zone. After just uh, 21 seconds of the second period. As we mentioned, this uh, touring Russian hockey team, having won 12 of their first 15 games on their tour of the Atlantic provinces. 
They played in New Brunswick, in Prince Edward Island, and also Nova Scotia, now in Newfoundland. They have, I believe it's a total of 32 dates altogether they're going to play before this tour ends. Next, with a puck in the center ice area, they bring the puck in across the line, setting it up in the slot. The puck steered out of harm's way by Gustav, the lieutenant Maxim Gustav. Now the puck is shot in back of the net. Back to the point. Exploits All-Stars dumping the puck into the corner to keep it in. It's in behind the goal, and it's picked up there by number 22 for the Russian team. That's Matt B. Smirnov, who dumps the puck into the center ice area. The Russian squad trying to get something organized in the center ice area. They're killing off that five-minute major penalty, and so far they've managed to kill off a minute and about 40 seconds of that major to Sorotkin, who picked up the five-minute high-sticking major late in the first period. Icing call. There we know we're going to get a penalty here. We're going to get penalties to both sides on that last play, and that's why we had the stoppage in play after a minute, 16 seconds of period number two here at Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium. Coincidental liners coming, so the teams will stand pat the way they are. Except, of course, that the exploits team has the man advantage with that five-minute major to Sorotkin. They have the puck inside the Russian zone. Tyson Power was knocked down as he had the puck in behind the goal. Exploits can't keep it in here. Come across the line, backhander, and a stop by Brad Snow, the goaltender. The puck steered to the corner and back comes Exploits. In across the line. There's a pass right in the slot area intended for Benjury. Hopped over his stick. Back to the point. From the point, the shot. Right into the face-off circle. Right in front of the goal. An opportunity for Exploits. The shot. They score! Tyson Power gets the goal after getting the puck in the slot area. And he waited and waited and then finally shot and beat the goaltender Maxim Gustav to make it a 3-2 hockey game. So Tyson Power, number 17, gets the third goal of the hockey game. That one for the Exploits team to make it a 3-2 hockey game. And so Exploits finally capitalized on that major penalty picked up by the Russians late in the first period of the hockey game. 3-2 is the score now. Face off in the center ice area. And the Russians have possession of the puck. They bring the puck in across the exploits line. The shot, high one. Brad Snow got a piece of it. The goal for exploits coming at the 2.02 mark of the second period to make it a 3-2 hockey game. Exploits dumping the puck all the way back into the Russian zone, chasing him back of the net after it. Here's Budgel who has two goals. Here's Budgel with moving to the point, then lost possession. Play is called. Penalty coming up here on that play. As we have one of the Exploits All-Stars, Tyson Power, knocked down on the play. And a penalty called. The penalty to Alexei Bikov, number 23. He was pointing out that uh, to the referee that Tyson Power was in the crease area at the time. But to no avail as the referee, Boyce Osmond, signals the penalty and slowly but surely Tyson Power gets up under his own steam and heads for the team bench. going on between the Russian midget all-star team and the referee Boyce Osmond and players from the exploit squad move in to find out what the discussion is all about. Two minutes and 51 seconds gone by in the second period. 
And Tyson Power has scored the go-ahead goal for exploits in the second period. It came at 2.02 of the second period. Lee Bishop uh, getting the pass over for Chad Rice. It was over on the far side of the goaltender, Maxim Gustav, and he puts it in there to make it a 4-2 hockey game. Chad Rice getting goal number four for the Exploits All-Stars. The goal coming at four minutes and two seconds of the second period. And so in the second period, we've had its All-Stars trying to clear the puck out, and they do. The puck goes all the way back into the Russian zone, where it's picked up by Maxim Markin. Shout out to center ice. Mark him, trying to reach the puck play is called. Penalty coming up here. To Brad Rice. Brad Rice is going to get the gate. And so the Russians will get the power play opportunity this time around. And they'll make some player changes. We hope that uh, those problems have now been rectified so we can bring you the rest of this hockey game. Russians again with possession of the puck. Deep in the exploit zone, they try to shoot it across into the corner. And exploits manages to fire the puck all the way back into the Russian zone with seven minutes, 30 seconds gone by in period number two. It's exploits four. And the Russians, too, here at Joe Byrne Memorial. Now the Russian All-Stars bringing the puck into the center ice. In across the line. Play broken up by the Exploits All-Stars. They can't get the puck out, however. Finally, they do into the center ice area. Preston Party after that loose puck. He can't get any wood on it. And it goes back to number 18. That's uh, for the Exploits All-Stars. Right at the blue line, falling on top of the puck was number nine, Stephen Cater, right at the Russian bench, and so play was called after several players tried to poke it from underneath the pads of Stephen Cater on that last play. 11.53 to go in period number two, and it's 4-2 for the Exploits All-Stars. David Budgel with a pair of goals, Tyson Power and Chad Rice scoring in the second period on the power play to make it a 4-2 hockey game. For the Russian team, Arsenev has one of the goals, that's number nine, but number 12 has the other goal, that's Alexander Kondratyev. That means the faceoff comes back into the exploit zone. The goaltender, Brad Snow, for exploits, getting a chance to get a drink of water before the face-off when play continues in just a moment. On the face-off, Russians gain possession. Here's a shot. Love save by Brad Snow. Nice save on the play. Brad Snow hanging on to the puck for a face-off, not wanting to take any chances. And he gets some congratulations from his teammates for getting the glove up there and grabbing onto the puck and holding it for that face-off. On the faceoff, the Russians have possession. Puck is cleared from the corner out to center ice. The Russians will try to regroup from there, but they lose possession of the puck. And exploits shoot it to the Russian blue line. They bring the puck back in across the line. And Brad Snow coming way out of the net to fall on top of the puck that was close to his goal, but he had to move a good distance out of the net to fall on top of it and hang on for the face-off. The Exploits All-Stars. And that will force another face-off deep inside the Exploits zone as Exploits make some player changes before the next face-off. 8.29 to go, second period. David Budgel with two goals while Tyson Power and Chad Rice have scored the single markers here in the second period to give the Exploits All-Stars a 4-2 lead from the point. Russians trying to keep it in. Back on exploits. 
Chasing in on goal, trying to get a shot away. Gustav, the goaltender, comes out to block that one. The puck goes underneath his pad and behind the net. A battle for possession and behind the goal. Play is called. Bit of pushing and shoving going on between several players there and a few words being exchanged. The referee having some words with the goaltender, Maxim Gostev, about something from Chad Rice. The Russian team, Smirnov, in the center ice area, passes it up ahead. Play broken up by the exploits defenders. Puck goes in back on the goal. The Russians still with possession. It's along the board now. And they'll fight for possession there. Two, three, four players moving in. Play is finally called with 6-11 to go. And the only scoring so far of the second period coming in the early minutes of the second period. Well, exploits enjoyed the man advantage and they took it. But he's come up big time and time again to preserve that two goal advantage for exploits. Puck in the corner, it's shot into the air and the puck goes into the crowd right at the Russian bench area. And so that will force another face off with 5.45 to go. The story so far for the exploits team, David Budgel of course, has a couple of the home team goals. So you certainly can't ignore him, but Brad Snow has, has been a Real workhorse in the hockey game so far and coming up with some nice saves. On the face out, the Russians get a low shot. And Snow got the blocker on that, steer that to the corner. It's along the boards. Now the Russians try to bring it out in front. There's a shot, they score! The Russians beating Brad Snow to make it a four to three hockey game. And that goal coming at 15-12 here in the second period. Gustav, and that makes it a 5-3 to three hockey game with 4.37 to go in the second period. Sorotkin, number 8, scoring for the Russian team, and then Preston Party comes right back. Moments later, it makes it a 5-3 to three hockey game, beating Gustav, the goaltender, to the glove side, high to the glove side. Russians bringing the puck in across the line, shot knocked down by one of the exploits defenders. There's a shot across the ice, puck goes to the corner. Russians have possession there. Out to center ice. Russians bring the puck in across the line. Trying to get it into the slot area, puck is poked away to the corner. But again, the Russians gain possession. They try to set it up in the slot again. Brad Snow grabs that loose puck in front of the net and hangs on for the faceoff. So a couple of quick goals make this a 5-3 hockey game in the late stages of period number two here at Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium. Sorotkin for the Russian team and Preston Party scoring for exploits. And the goal's coming just a few seconds apart. On the faceoff, out to center ice. The Russians have possession. There's a shot, glove save by Brad Snow, and he'll hang on for the faceoff. It seems like we've been playing in the three minute mark of the second period for a long time now. 3.45 now showing on the clock. Face off to the right of goaltender Brad Snow. 5-3 exploits from the face off. Back to the point. Shot going wide. The puck in behind the net. Russians try to gain possession. It's Preston Party. 
trying to clear the puck out and can't. Russians in the corner with it. At the face-off circle. Stick handling, trying to get it out in front. Loose in front, they score! The Russians make it a 5-4 hockey game with 3.26 remaining. The goal coming at 16.34 of this second period. And so it's a 5-4 hockey game as the Russians, Preston Party unable to clear the puck out of his own zone and the Russians manage to keep it in and set up the play in front of Brad Snow and put the puck behind him to make it a 5-4 hockey game. Alexei Bikov gets the goal, number 23 for the Russian team. So it's five to four. David Budget, Tyson Power, Chad Rice, and Preston Party for exploits. Five four is the score. The Russians again bringing the puck inside the exploit zone. Trying to set it up for a shot. Nice glove save by Brad Snow again. And he holds on for the face-off. Back to the point from the face-off. Russians getting a low shot, that one. Steered to the corner, Russians gain possession there. In behind the net. They'll try to set it up in the slot. Puck comes back to the point and outside the line to center ice. Russians losing the puck deep in their own zone, but then regaining it, they lose it again. There's a shot right on. A very quick shot that time by Chris Head. Who got possession of the puck, but wasn't expecting it. Russians bring the puck back into the exploit zone. Russian team making some player changes as we continue play is called. We may be getting a penalty for having too many men on the ice. I think that's the indication for the referee boys Osmond in consultation with the linesman. Russians were at a player change at the time, but it seemed like there were a lot of orange jerseys right around that Russian bench area. Perhaps that's the indication there is a penalty. 229 left to go, second period. It's five to four in favor of exploits here at Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium. Some wholesale player changes coming for the exploits team and the Russians skating toward their bench area to see the plays in the way again. Exploits Benjer had it momentarily, then lost possession. The puck comes up to center ice. It's Tyson Power with the power. Trying to sit it up into the slot area, looking for David Budgel, who couldn't reach it in time. The Russians have possession. Alexander Starchenko getting the puck to center ice and into the exploit zone. And they start to hit a little heavy out there, all of a sudden. Tyson Power trying to bring the puck out of his own zone, had it knocked off his stick. Then the puck comes to center ice with 1.20 left to go, second period. Smyrna for the Russians. Passing it up ahead for Sorotkin, shot right on, and Brad Snow again makes the save with one minute, 11 seconds remaining to play in period number two. It's a 5-4 hockey game in favor of the exploits midget all-stars. Two goals from David Budgel. They came in the first period in the second. Tyson Power, Chad Rice, and Preston Party. They were sweaters number 17, 18, and 19, respectively. And for the Russian team, they've had uh, goals from uh, Sorotkin, also Arseniev, number 12, Kondratiev. And Dmitry Sorotkin, as I mentioned earlier, as well as number 23, Alexei Bikov. The Russians with the puck inside their own zone, 45 seconds to go. Exploits brings the puck in across the line. That's Chad Rice with it. The Russians regain possession and bring it out to center ice. It's Igor Cleave with it. Cleave in across the line. 
Losing it, there's a shot that goes just wide of the mark with 28 seconds remaining to play. Exploits, shooting the puck high into the air and it goes into the penalty bench area. So play is called with 18 seconds to go. The Russians will make uh, some player changes for this, what could be the final face-off of the second period. Deep in the exploits zone. On the face-off. It's shot in front of the goal. Brad Snow watched the puck go to the corner. Kept, kept in at the point by the Russians. They tried to shoot it into the slot area. Again, low shot. That one goes just wide of the mark. As the buzzer goes to win the second period, and it's 5-4 in favor of exploits after 40 minutes. Here at Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium, again, the goal scorers in that second period. Tyson Power, Chad Rice, and number 19, Preston Party for the Exploits All-Stars. And in the second period, for the Russian squad, Dmitry Sirotkin, and also Alexei Bikov getting the goals. In the first period, David Budgel scored twice for exploits. And for the Russian team, in the first period, it was Dmitry Arseniev and uh, number 12, who got the second goal, that's Alexander Kondratyev. So again, after 40 minutes of play, 5-4, exploits out in front of the Russian All-Stars. We're back in just a few moments. the third period of this hockey game 5-4 in favor of the exploits midget all-stars it was 2-2 at the end of the first period and exploits outscoring the Russians 3-2 in that second period scoring their first two goals on the power play while Sorotkin was for 20 minutes of this exhibition all-star midget hockey game here at Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium. Puck is dropped and from the faceoff it goes back into the exploit zone. And Brad Rice has it, goes back of the goal with it, clears it but not out. Puck is shot over top the net and into the crowd and so we get a stoppage in play after just nine seconds of the third period. David Budgel, two goals for the exploits All-Stars. Both of those came in the first period of the hockey game. And then it was uh, Tyson Power, Chad Rice, and Preston Party in the second period. For the Russians, now at center ice. They have possession of the puck. Pass to bring the puck in across the blue line. They try to set it up in the slot. Player knocked down on the play by Jason Benger, right in front of the goal. And it's picked up there by David Budgel, who has two goals in the hockey game tonight. Budgel brings it in across the line, but he's tied up and knocked down on the play. Back come the Russians. In across the line, trying to get in front for a shot. Puck goes in back of the net, tipped off a stick. It's into the corner. In after it, there is Brad Rice for the Exploits All-Stars. Puck comes out to the goaltender, Snow, and it's shot out to center ice, finally, by the Exploits All-Stars. One minute gone by in period number three. And we apologize if we had a few technical problems with one of the microphones earlier on the broadcast. We hope that we've managed to clear up those technical difficulties. Russians bring the puck in across the line to the corner in back of the net. They try to step up in front. Puck is tipped off a stick. And it's Benger with it, shooting it all the way down the ice. An exploit call for icing on the play. They'll get a chance to make some player changes. Likewise, the Russians will do the same thing after a minute and 34 seconds of period number three. It's still 5-4, 2-2 at the end of one. And exploits outscoring the Russians 3-2 in the second period. Two of their goals, as I mentioned earlier, coming early in the second period on the power play while Surotkin was serving at a five-minute major for high sticking. Chad Rice in the face-off circle for exploits. Puck goes to the corner. It's cleared along the boards at the center ice. 
Rice chasing after the puck, but the Russians get to it first. And bring it into center ice. In across the line. Drop pass intended for one of the Russian players. Failed to click the puck out at center ice. They'll try to bring it back in again. This time they shoot it in. And it goes in back of the goaltender. Brad Snow, who's played a stellar game and goal for exports. Leaving it there. Here's Pressman Party getting around the defense. Going on goal shot. And Gostev makes the save on the play. Well, goaltender Maxim Gostev putting the brakes to Preston Party. A golden opportunity as he got around the defense. Here's Preston Party again at center. He was tied up but managed to get the puck back into the Russian zone. It cleared across the ice and off a stick it goes into the crowd so play is called. 2.25 gone by in period number three. Face off just outside the Russian blue line. Chad Rice will take the draw for exploits. On the face off Russians with the puck in their own zone. They get it to the blue line. At the blue line, turning around inside their own zone. And then having trouble getting it back out to center ice. Here they come, in across the line. Trying to get in front for a shot, set it up in the slot, loose puck right at the side of the goal. And it's cleared out of harm's way by Stephen Cater. Here's Cater with it, dumping it into the center ice area from just inside the blue line where the Russians regain control. They bring the puck back in, it's tipped off a stick and shot back out to center ice. That time by Jody Bishop, the assistant captain. Puck is cleared high over top of the glass into the crowd. And so that will result in another stoppage in play. Here come the Russians from the faceoff to bring the puck in across the line. Set it up in the slot, the shot goes wide. That time, number 17 was all alone in front. Evgeny Emelianov getting the shot, but he went wide with it. Right in front of goaltender Brad Snow. Play call. One of the Russian players lost his helmet. Back inside the exploit zone, that's number eight, Dmitry Sorotkin. He has one of the Russian goals. He also picked up a major penalty late in the first period of the game. He's going to pick up another penalty now as the referee boys Osmond is signaling for him to go to the penalty box. 335 played in the third period. And it's 5-4 exploits. Face off in the center ice area on the exploits side of that center red line. Puck drop. Russians with possession of it. They shoot it to an open wing. The puck goes all the way back into the exploit zone. And back after it, number 14, that's Brad Rice for exploits. Starting from the back of the goal, Rice on the left wing. Gets it to center right. Puck is shot inside by Blackmore. Inside the Russian zone to the corner. The Russians gain possession of it there. And out to center ice. Completing some nice long passes to get the puck back into the exploit zone, but the Russians are playing shorthanded with Sorotkin picking up his second penalty of the game, this time a minor penalty. Russians still with possession of the puck. Now it's tied up and on the board from the point. There's a clearing pass just to dump the puck into the corner when the exploit players knock down on the play. Play is called. And I think we're going to get a penalty here to, to the Russian squad. Indeed we are. That's the indication from the referee. Checking from behind. To Evgeny Emelianov. The injured exploit player still on the ice. If 
Jenny Emelianov heading to the team bench after being told by the referee that he is finished for the hockey game for picking up that penalty for checking from behind. The injured player, Ed Cater, is back on his feet and goes back to the bench. Hopefully none the worse for four minutes, 30 seconds got by in period number three. It's still 5-4 in favor of exploits. There's been no scoring so far in this third period. 2-2 at the end of one, and exploits up scoring the Russians 3-2 in the second period. And that's where things stand right now, 5-4 as one of the Russian players heads to the penalty bench area to serve out that penalty. And we're going to have another delay now as the scorekeepers request the referee to make a return visit to the penalty bench area. Zorotkin in the penalty box already for the Russians, so they are going to play two men short. On the face off, we get another indication from the scorekeepers that they want the referee to pay a visit there. And so right after the face off, we get a whistle and a stoppage in play. So another delay in the hockey game. A two man advantage for the exploits. All-Stars, a good opportunity for them to get another goal, to grab a two-goal lead in the hockey game, which they enjoyed for some time during the second period, having gone up 4-2 at one point. Before the Russians came back and made it a 4-3 hockey game. Here comes exploits from the face off. The shot going just wide of the goal. They have the two-man advantage. Remember, a five-minute major, a checking from behind penalty for Emelianov, Evgeny Emelianov, who's gone from the game now. Puck in the corner. It's in back of the goal. Jason Benger with it. And it poked off a stick. The Russians clear it and outside the line. It's Preston Party shooting it over on the other side over for Stephen Cater. Russians touch the puck, play is called. It was knocked down with a high stick, and so that's why we get the stoppage in play. The Russians will make some player changes here, I think. Looked as though they were. But they decide to stand pat with the three players they have out on the ice. And it seems all of a sudden as though the tempo of this game has really slowed down with all kinds of whistles here in the last couple of minutes or so. In the early going of period number three. Stephen Cater with it. Cater brings the puck in across the line over for one of his teammates, the Russians, shooting it off the boards, but not out, kept in by Brad Rice to the corner. They try to set it up in front. Puck comes into the slot area, the Russians pick it up. Here they come, a three on one break. Here come the Russians, and across the line, the pass going in on goal, the shot goes just wide of the net. That time, an opportunity for Alexander Kondratyev to put the puck in the net, as the Russians were playing two men short. They had a three on one break. And after taking the pass, Kondratyev shot the puck just wide of the net. The Russians' indication here is that they're going to get another penalty. Puck drop from the faceoff. Russians have possession in their own zone. They shoot it. Up to center ice. A double minor, and it sounds like Sorotkin picked it up again, number eight. So he's been the bad boy for the Russian team in the hockey game, the puck going into the crowd, and so we get another stoppage in play. A double minor that time to the Russians. 
And so it looks as though exploits will have a two-man advantage for the next couple of minutes. Still five to four after six minutes, 14 seconds of period number three. Brad Rice with it, Rice. On the right wing, brings the puck in across the Russian line. Russian shooting it to the point, but not out. Rice shoots it over to the other side where it's picked up by Kevin Anthony. Anthony tried to feed the puck up ahead. Russian player knocked it down with a glove, and so we get a stoppage. And a face-off deep inside the Russian zone. To the right of goaltender Maxim Gostev. Tyson Power will take the draw for exploits on this face-off. Exploits with the two-man advantage, but they have not had any really good shots on goal so far with that two-man advantage. Let's see if things change now. Puck is dropped from the face-off. Benjamin with a shot that went just wide, picked up by Brad Rice. Off the boards, Rice winding up with a shot. Gustav steers that over to the far corner and the puck goes all the way back into the export zone. Pass for Benger too far, Russians keep it in, right in the slot, backhander. And the save by goaltender Brad Snow, penalty coming up here to exploits. After the backhander from Igor Cleave, exploits picking up a minor penalty on the play, it looks as though it's going to be Kevin Anthony who's going to get the gate for high sticking. And Matt V. Smirnov making some motion toward Kevin Anthony after he picked up that minor penalty and started going to the penalty bench area. sticking minor for Anthony and from the face off he exploits all-stars dump the puck back into the Russian zone the Russians bringing it to center ice and across the line nice burst of speed there by the Russian player number 22 that's Matt V. Smirnov he got the puck into the corner and then lost it Brad Rice getting it over for David Budgel, who has two goals tonight Budgel from the corner tries to set it up for Rice but the puck is knocked off his stick Here come the Russians again. They bring the puck in across the line. Puck is left there in the slot shot. Right on. And that one hit the post. Russians coming dangerously close that time to tying things up. It's still 5-4. Russians still with the puck. Stick handling to get away from the check. Pass across the ice. And the puck is tipped off a stick out to center ice. Now the Russians will try to bring it back in across the line. Here they come. Backhanded shot. Scores! Number 14 gets the equalizer. That one hit the post. And I believe it hit some of Brad Snow's equipment after hitting the post and then bounced into the net. And so Igor Cleave makes it a 5-5 hockey game with the only goal so far of this third period. The goal coming at 8 minutes and 14 seconds of the third period. Igor Cleave. Maxim Markham picking up the assist on the goal by Cleave to tie things up at 5. Cleave took the shot and hit the post and bounced off the post, hitting Brad Snow's equipment, and then went into the net to make it a 5-5 hockey game. On the face-off, the Russians with the puck in their own zone. Here they come to center ice. Playing four against three, shot going wide of the mark. Puck comes all the way up to center ice, and the Russians have possession of it there. Plays call, penalty coming up here. Yeah. 
penalty to the Russian team on that last play. get a delay in the hockey game after that penalty call by the referee. Boys up. And another Russian hockey player has gone to the penalty box to serve the penalty. Again, the referee, Boyce Osmond, is explaining to the players the nature of the penalty call that he has just made, but apparently the Russian players are still looking for some explanations because they followed him to the penalty bench area. And so that's why we have more delay here. Seems like the last couple of penalty calls, when we've had a call from the referee, there has to have been some explanation to the players and to the benches on certain occasions as to what penalty is what. going to go over to the Russian bench. So Chad Rice in the face-off circle is final. We get play underway again. It's Preston Party with it at the side of the goal. Basco coming up. They score! Exploit makes it 6-5. to five. Jody Bishop after Preston Party got the shot on Gustav. The goaltender made the save initially and then Jody Bishop picked up the rebound and made no mistake about it. So it's 6-5. to five. That goal coming on the power play for exploits. So they go ahead at the midway point of this third period. The goal coming at 9.06 of this third period. It's 6-5 to five in favor of exploits. Jody Bishop gets the goal to give exploits that uh, lead. After Preston Party took the initial shot of Maxim Gostev, the Russian goaltender. Russians almost got caught that time with too many players on the ice. They're still playing shorthanded. Buck is shot inside the exploit zone. It's in back of the net, in back of Brad Snow, who was kept pretty busy in the second period in particular. Jody Bishop gets the goal. Preston Hardy picking up an assist on the scoring play to make it a 6-5 to five hockey game in favor of exploits. Here is Party with it in his own zone. Out to Jody Bishop to center ice. Russians pick it up there. It's intercepted, though. Here's a shot by number 14. That's Brad Rice. And Gustav made the save on the play and steered the puck in back of the net. Russians in the corner. Several players move in there, try to tie up the puck. The Russians have possession. They get it to center ice. Here they come. A three-on-one break. Pass across the ice. The shot going wide of the goal. It's out at the side of the net. 
If nobody could get any wood on it, Preston Party comes back for exports. Got one man to beat, tied up on the play, goes down. The two of them go to the boards together. Play is called, the Russian player very slow to get up. After he and Preston Party went crashing into the boards, Party only oh, had his his man to beat the Russian defender to get a breakaway on the goaltender Gostev. And the Russian player and party went crashing into the boards, but the Russian player took the brunt of it because he went into the boards with party using the Russian defender as a sort of a cushion when the two of them went down. So the face-off deep inside the Russian zone, 9.44 showing on the clock. Face off and here's exploits with a shot on goal. Gostev at the side of the net grabs the puck after Ed Cater got a shot. And Gostev holds it out for a face off. This time it'll be to the right of the Russian netminder. Puck is dropped from the face off, goes to the corner. The Russians get it to, to center ice. And it's shot in back of the Russian goal from the point. The Russians forced to work the puck out of their own zone. They get it to center ice. The pass just fails to click at center now. Russians bringing the puck in, drop pass. They move in in front of the net. The shot, the pass to Arsenev just failed to click. Arsenev goes to the corner with it and has possession in back of the net, sets it up on the slot. But it hopped over the stick of number 23, Alexei Bikov, who has one of the Russian goals tonight. Into the corner, a battle for possession. Now with the face-off circular, they set it up on the slot. Penalty coming up here to exploit. Play is called. Some pushing and shoving between one of the Russian players and one of the players from the exploits team. Sorotkin was in the middle of that. He's been the sort of bad boy for the Russian team tonight, taking several of their penalties. And Jerry Pumphrey gets the penalty call from referee Boyce Osmond. Sorotkin is also going to sit out two minutes to try and cool things off. He spent a considerable amount of time in the penalty box in the hockey game so far. Now the referee, Boyce Osmond, signaling something to the Russian bench. Looks like a, a bench minor, perhaps. On the face-off, puck is lifted high into the air by Stephen Cater, and it goes all the way to the goaltender Gostev, Maxim Gostev. He'll take no chances and hangs on for a face-off. So with some of the penalty calls that we've had here and the explanations and then uh, more penalty calls, uh, it seems as though the third period has really dragged itself out. We still have 8 minutes, 39 seconds to go in the third period. The Russian team now with possession of the puck. Shooting it into the center ice area. Jason Benger tried to bring it back in, couldn't hang on to it. Here come the Russians bringing the puck in across the line, trying to get in front of the defense. Shot right on, Snow with the save. He's in the net, he scores! Dmitry Arsenev with his second goal of the night after Brad Snow made the initial save. Arsenev managed to put it past to goaltender Brad Snow, and that ties things up at 6-6. With 8.19 left to go here in the third period of the hockey game. Number nine, Dmitry Arsenev. 
Igor Cleve picking up an assist on the goal by Dmitry Arseniev to make it a 6-6 tie with 8.19 left to go in the hockey game. Here at the Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium. Russians with possession of the puck. They bring it in across the line, tipped off a stick. And again, they'll try to bring it in across the line. They do. They try to set it up in the slot as they seem to have wanted to do most of the night when they brought the puck in across the line into the opposing team zone. The Russians again bringing the puck in. This time, the Russian player was knocked down and lost possession. It's back to the point. Russians trying to keep it in. But it's Tyson Power with it. Tyson Power to center ice where he lost possession. And the Russians regain control. Power goes to the bench. Jody Bishop steps out onto the ice. Russians again bringing the puck in across the line. Here's the shot. They tried to set it up into the slot area. It was tipped away. Another shot going wide. It goes from the corner all the way up to center ice and back into the Russian zone. Seven minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the third period of the hockey game. It's a 6-6 six, six tie. 2-2 two, two at the end of one. 5-4 for exploits coming into this third period. They set it up right in front. There's a shot. Hit one of the exploits defenders right in front of goaltender Brad Snow. Dangerous play that time as the puck hit uh, Brad Rice in front of Brad Snow. There's a shot. Dostev making the save. Net comes off. It's mooring. Play is called. Several players bumped heavily in behind the goaltender Gostev, Maxim Gostev. So they get the net back onto its mooring. Chad Rice will be in the faceoff circle for exploits. Puck is dropped. And it's Jody Bishop with a drop pass for Brad Rice. The shot going wide. Puck out at center ice, and it goes all the way back into the exploit zone. Brad Snow out of the net, firing it around the boards, but not out. In back of the net, Brad Rice with it. Tries to feed the puck up ahead. Jody Bishop had it momentarily. Now it's Kevin Anthony with it. Anthony shooting the puck up ahead. It goes off a stick back into the Russian zone with 6.20 left to go. Third period, a 6-6 tie. Jody Bishop with the puck in the corner. Sets it up in the slot. The shot over top the net. Maxim Gustav watched the puck go to the far corner as the Russians bring it out to center ice. They bring the puck in across the line. And it goes in back of goaltender Snow. That's Dmitry Sorotkin with it. And lost it here is Jason Benger trying to get around the defender, but the defender knocked him down. Smirnov, that is. The Russian defender on the play knocked Benger down as he tried to get around him to get a shot on goal. Russians bring the puck back in to the corner. They set it up in the slot. Puck can't be kept in. It goes off the stick of number nine. That's Dmitry Asenev, who has two goals for the Russian team here tonight. At center, exploits with it, bringing the puck in across the line. David Budjo with a pair of goals. The pass over for Benger to Budjo. Couldn't get the shot away. The Russians gain possession out to center ice. 5.15 to go, third period. The Russians bringing the puck in across the line. The shot, and it goes just wide of the mark that time. The shot coming from Alexander Stachenko, number 28. Who managed to get around the defense, catching the exploits defense. And going in on goal, but the shot went just wide of Brad Snow. Back come the Russians in across the line. Drop pass. They set it up in the slot. There's the save by Snow. The puck right through the crease. Into the corner. And they'll battle for possession. Their play is called by the referee fairly quickly. Trying to get it out in the slot. Put it onto an exploit stick. Back comes Preston Party. Party down the left side. Setting it up in front. The shot. And guts it. The goaltender just got a piece of it. That time, a great opportunity for Ed Cater taking the pass from Preston Party. Back come the Russians with 3.50 to go, third period. Puck is in back of the goal. They try to set it up in front, moving into the slot. Number nine, Arsenev couldn't get the shot away, and then he was bodied right in front of goaltender Brad Snow. Again, the Russians bring the puck in across the line. But it goes to an open wing where it's cleared outside to center ice. Again, the Russians will try to bring the puck in. They do across the blue line. It's shot across the ice. 
Picking it up off the boards. They try to keep the puck in. It comes out to number 17. That's Tyson Power. Here's Power. In across the line. He fell down. And loses possession. Once again, the Russians on the attack. They bring the puck in across the line. Drop pass. Trying to get in front for a shot on goal. Setting it up in the slot. Puck goes just wide of the net. In back of the goal now. Puck is cleared but not out by exploits. The Russians. Trying to set it up in the slot. Puck goes across the goal mouth area. It's back to the point. From the point, the shot. Saved by Brad Snow. And he'll hold on for the faceoff with 2.38 remaining. In the third period of the hockey game, we're tied at six. Yeah, in the face-off circle, puck is dropped. And it's Stephen Cater with it, firing it off the boards all the way back into the Russian zone. The Russians from deep within their own zone. The center lights, bringing the puck in across the line. Pass back to the point, the shot's, oh, that one. Brad Snow just got a piece of it and steered it just wide. It was headed for the far corner. Penalty call coming up here to exploits. The Russians still with possession. It's Arsenia back to the point. They try to set it up in the slot area. Moving in there, so shot goes wide of the net, hits the mesh. Play is called. And we're going to get a penalty here to the exploits team. Chad Rice is getting the penalty call from referee Boyce Osmond. And that comes at an inopportune time with a 6-6 tie at exploits trying to fight out the Russians who are looking for the winning goal. In the dying minutes of this hockey game here at Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium. Preston Party in the face-off circle against Arsene Yev from the face-off. Tripping call to Chad Rice. Russians with the puck inside the exploit zone. Keeping it in at the point, the shot hit the side of the net. And this time, exploits will clear the puck down the ice. Brad Rice getting the job done. A minute, 30 seconds left to go. Third period. It's a 6-6 tie here at Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium. The Russians with the puck in their own zone. Across the ice, they bring the puck in across the line. Trying to dump the puck into the corner to set up a play. Here's a chance for the Russians. Trying to get in front of the shot, they score! Arsenev! Dmitry Arsenev with his third goal of the night to give the Russians a 7-6 lead with just a minute and six seconds remaining in the third period of the hockey game. Dmitry Arsenev taking the pass right in front of goaltender Brad Snow and he puts the puck past the sprawling goaltender to make it a 7-6 hockey game in favor of the touring Russian Midget All-Star team. Igor Cleve is one of the players picking up an assist on that goal by Dmitry Arsenyev, his third of the night, making this a 7-6 hockey game. Exploits on the attack, right from the faceoff. Banger gets in front, shot right on Gutstead with the save. Loose puck, where is it? Play is called. The players dive after the puck. It looked like we were getting a big football tackle there in front of the goaltender, Maxim Gustav. Fifty-four seconds showing on the clock. And the goaltender Brad Snow is looking toward the bench to see if perhaps they're going to put an extra attacker out onto the ice. The faceoff will come just outside the Russian blue line after a mad scramble for a possession of the puck. After Jason Benger took the shot on the goaltender Maxim Gostev and then 
Well, those puck was bouncing in the front of the net, and it looked as though with the number of players that we have there. Now we're calling for a measurement on a hockey stick of the Russian team. With 54 seconds remaining in the third period of the hockey game. So we're going to get another delay. This may or may not work for the exploits team. They've called for the measurement of a hockey stick. If the stick is illegal, then of course it will mean a two-minute minor penalty to the Russian team, which would give exploits the man advantage. And they would perhaps then choose to get an extra attacker out there and get Brad Snow to the bench. If the penalty or the, the um, stick is ruled to be legal, then the team from exploits would be assessed a two-minute minor penalty for delay of game. Hockey Association. Some of the people involved in the background with the team, of course, the team coach, Harold Benger, Doug Lane, Bill Budgel, and of course, the president of minor hockey, the Exploits Minor Hockey Association, Dave Grimes. 48 seconds shot of the clock, Exploits with the man advantage, and Snow is about a uh, good 15 to 20 feet out of the net, still looking for the bench. And we're going to get a face-off coming outside the blue line. And Snow will continue to skate out toward the blue line area, looking over at the bench. Exploits with a man advantage. After Clean picked up a minor penalty for having an illegal stick. Face-off just outside the blue line. Venture brings the puck in across the line, but then was knocked down and lost possession. The Russians fire it all the way back to goaltender Brad Snow, who will leave it there. For Brad Rice, here's Rice to the blue line as Snow heads for the bench. And so Exploits will have a two-man advantage with 25 seconds remaining. The puck in back of the goaltender Gutsev. Play is called as one player fell on top of the puck and was held there along the boards. And that's exactly what Exploits perhaps was looking for, a face-off deep inside Russian territory. With 21 seconds remaining, they have a two-man advantage. And so they... Obviously want a face-off to try and set up some kind of a play here with the two-man advantage. And 21 seconds showing on the clock. Dmitry Arseniev has scored three goals tonight for the Russian team. Puck is dropped in from the face-off. It's Jody Bishop with it. Bishop into Benger and back in the net. They tried to set it up at the side of the goal. Gutsa trying to hang on to it. Their play is called with 12 seconds remaining. And exploits with a two-man advantage. And they've got all the big guns out there for this, what could be the final face-off of this third period. Jody Bishop, Jason Benger. We've got Preston Party out there, along with Brad Rice. David Budgel, who has two goals for the exploits team tonight. And Tyson Power taking the face-off for exploits. This is a crucial face-off deep inside Russian territory. 12 seconds to go. Now Power is waved out of the face-off circle. Jody Bishop will take the draw. A Russian player also waved out of the face-off circle that time. Big face-off deep in Russian territory. Exploits win the draw. Back to the point. Winding up for the shot. There's a shot. The score! Ten seconds to go! And Exploits has tied it up at seven. On the goal by Brad Rice. From the point after the face-off. Brad Rice winding up for the shot. And he beats Goldberg and Maxim Gustav to make this a 7-7 seven, seven hockey game with nine seconds showing on the clock. Getting the goal for exploits from the point 
After that face-off deep inside Russian territory, now nine seconds show on the clock. Here's Preston Party with it at his own blue line. Party backhander to get it to the Russian line. Looks as though that'll be it for the third period of the hockey game. There goes the buzzer. And exploits pulls out a 7-7 tie with the Russian team. After the goal from Brad Rice coming with nine seconds remaining in the third period of the hockey game. The goal came while the Russian team Igor Cleve was assessed a two-minute minor for having too many or er, for having an illegal stick, I should say. And then uh, Brad Snow went to the bench as exploits decided to go with an extra attacker. I think the Russians are questioning whether or not we're supposed to play five minutes of overtime. Team from Exploits ready to shake hands with their opponents. But now the Russians have gone to the referee Boyce Osmond to question whether or not there is supposed to be a five minute overtime period here. So it looks like we're, we're into an overtime of sorts, if you will. We're going to have a, a shootout. Is that what we're going to have here? The referee has gone to the penalty bench area. Brad Rice got the equalizer for exploits with uh, nine seconds remaining on the clock. Comes the Russian player in on the goaltender Snow waits the save by the goaltender Brad Snow on the Russian player Surotkin, Dmitry Surotkin, who never really got a good shot away. And so Jody Bishop will get his turn now at Maxim Gostet. And here comes Bishop, gets the puck at center ice, in across the blue line. Waits, takes the shot. And the save by the goaltender, Dustin, the puck went over top the net. And so the Russians will get their opportunity now on the shootout situation. Going in a goal, the puck hit the side of the net. As Igor Cleave, who picked up a minor penalty for having an illegal stick, had put the deke on Brad Snow and then tried to poke it past him. But the puck hit the side of the goal. Now here's a chance for Steven Cater. Here's Cater going in on Gutsa. Waits, takes the shot, Gutsa makes the easy save on the play. And so nobody has scored so far in four shootout opportunities, two for each side. And the Russians will get their opportunity 
one more time. Here comes on goaltender Brad Snow, the shot saved by Brad Snow on Maxim Martin. So that's five shots and no goal. And this time for exploits, it's going to be Preston Party at center ice. Party picks up the puck, going in on goal, takes the shot. And it went over top of the net, so still nobody has scored. So that's three shots each. comes the Russian player from center ice, in across the line, puts the deep on Snow, makes the nice save from Dmitry Arsenyev, who is looking to put the puck in behind Brad Snow for the fourth time in this hockey game. David Budgel, who scored twice, will get his turn now on Maxim Gustav. Budget going in, takes the shot, saved by Gustav. So the big guns of the game, Oxenyev and Budgel, are still mauled by the respective goaltenders. So that's eight shots all together in the shootout situation. Four for each side, and nobody has scored. Here comes the Russian player on Snow, the save by Snow. At number 28, Alexander Stachinko getting that shot, and it was stopped by goaltender Brad Snow. Now it's Jason Benger for the exploits team. And still, nobody has scored in the shootout. Here's Benger for the blue line, bringing the puck in, takes the shot, and the save by Gustav. At this rate, we could be here all night long. Seven time we're into a shootout situation and nobody has beaten either of the goaltenders. Matt May Smirnov now for the Russians. In across the blue line. Smirnov takes the shot. Well saved by Brad Snow. On Matt May Smirnov. So Brad Rice is going to get the opportunity. He scored with nine seconds remaining in the third period to tie it up at seven. Here's Rice going in on goal. The shot scores! Brad Rice has scored for exploits in the shootout. Gets the goal in the shootout to make it eight to seven for exploits. So Brad Rice gets the equalizer with nine seconds remaining and then beats the goal of the Russian goaltender in the shootout. Here comes the Russian player on the Xbox win it. After the failed opportunity that time by Igor Klee, a second opportunity in the shootout. And so exploits pull this one out eight to seven in the shootout situation. Brad Rice scoring with nine seconds remaining in regulation time and then scoring in the shootout to win it eight to seven in favor of the exploits team. Two two tie at the end of the first period, five four for exploits going into the third period of the hockey game. It finishes at 7-7 tie in regulation time. Then they went to the shootout situation. And in the shootout, 
After a number of opportunities on both sides, Brad Rice, who got the equalizer for X Point, scores in the shootout to make the final score 8 7 for exploits over the ru visiting Russian midget all star hockey team. So that's it for us tonight here at the Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium. Trust that you've enjoyed the hockey game as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. On behalf of all of the production crew, this is Roger Barnett bidding you good night from the Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium. <laughs>